This will be the last video on the topic Energy Management, Chapter 7. This video includes Nuclear Fission, Nuclear Fusion, Renewable Sources of Energy, Non-Renewable Sources of Energy, Green Energy and Brown Energy, Methods to Reduce Energy Consumption, Nuclear Fission, Nuclear Fusion, Renewable Sources of Energy, Non-Renewable Sources of Energy, Green Energy and Brown Energy, Methods to Reduce Energy Consumption. Let us see about Nuclear Fission. Nuclear Fission is the process by which the nuclei of greater mass are split into lighter nuclei using neutrons. The mass of small nuclei formed is less than that of parent nucleus. It means that there is loss of matter during such a splitting. There is loss of matter during such a splitting. If we divide a jackfruit into two sections, the mass of the resultant two pieces will be slightly different from that of the whole jackfruit. This is because some amount of latex, chakkakara and rags, chavani may be lost while cutting or may be stuck to the knife. Likewise, in nuclear fission, the mass of the resultant nuclei will be slightly lesser than that of the initial nucleus. This difference in mass can be used to calculate the amount of energy released during the process of nuclear fission. The difference in mass can be used to calculate the amount of energy released. Amount of energy released during the process of nuclear fission. This is given by Einstein's equation E is equal to mc square where m is the difference in the mass. C is the velocity of light even though the mass difference is very small as we can see in this equation. The velocity of light is squared that is 3 into 10 raised to 8 whole square. Thus making the energy produced humongous, enormous. Uncontrolled fission will end in a huge explosion. This is the process that takes place in an atom bomb. Nuclear reactor is a system that converts nuclear energy into electrical energy. Nuclear energy into electrical energy. Enriched uranium is the fuel used in, the, used in nuclear reactors. India has developed the indigenous technology of using carbide fuel in nuclear reactors. The power station at Kalpakam in Tamil Nadu makes use of such a reactor. Dangerous radioactive radiations and products are also formed in nuclear reactions. Precautions to face nuclear hazards. We can see symbol showing warning against nuclear radiation. Symbol showing Warning against nuclear radiation. Then, precautions to face nuclear hazards. Shift out to safe places. Shift out to safe places. Concrete buildings, buildings constructed using bricks, etc. Strictly follow the directions from the concerned authorities. Strictly follow the directions from the concerned authorities. Observe the symbols showing the nuclear radiations and behave accordingly. Observe the symbols showing the nuclear radiations and behave accordingly. Reduce the density of population in places likely to experience nuclear hazards. Reduce the density of population in places likely to experience nuclear hazards. If necessary, Consume potassium iodide tablets or take food rich in 
iodine. Take food rich in iodine. Next is nuclear fusion. Nuclear fusion is the process in which lighter nuclei are lighter nuclei are combined to form heavier ones. Lighter nuclei are combined to form heavier ones. Fusion. In this process, the matter lost is converted to energy. You know that energy is produced in the stars and the sun in this way. Nuclear fusion. This is the principle used for making a hydrogen bomb. The scientific world has not yet been able to produce energy commercially by controlled nuclear fusion. Next is renewable sources of energy. Now you are familiar with the different sources of energy. Those which replenish energy as it is being used up are the renewable sources of energy. The natural sources of energy, the natural sources of energy obtained from sunlight, wind, rain, high tide, etc. can be replenished. Natural sources of energy obtained from sunlight, wind, rain, high tide, etc. can be replenished. Hence, these are examples for renewable sources of energy. They do not pollute the environment. They do not pollute the environment. But petroleum, coal, natural gases, nuclear energy, etc. are non-renewable sources. They are harmful to the environment as well. Green energy and brown energy. Green energy is the energy produced from natural sources. Green energy is the energy produced from natural sources that does not cause environmental pollution. All the energy produced from renewable sources belong to this category. The renewable sources like solar energy, wind energy, energy from waves, energy from biomass are considered as green energy. This is also referred to as clean energy. Green energy is also referred to as clean energy. But the energy produced from non-renewable sources such as petroleum and coal and the nuclear energy are named brown energy. These are sources which cause environmental problems including global warming. These are sources which cause environmental problems including global warming. We can see green energy examples for green energy and brown energy. Solar energy, wind energy, tidal energy, energy from wave etc. are green energy. Brown energy are nuclear energy, energy from petroleum, energy from coal, energy from natural gases etc. are examples for brown energy. We can reduce energy crisis by maximum utilization of solar energy, minimizing the wastage of water, making use of public transportation, construction and beautifying of houses and roads in a scientific manner, controlling of the street lamps with the LDR, timely repairing of machines, Ensuring maximum efficiency of machines used using pressure cooker and a hot box for cooking. Here, making use of public transportation means by train or by bus. Serve energy, conserve energy for future generation. 
that's all for today's discussion if you have enjoyed this video please like share and subscribe my channel simple physics and click the bell icon for further videos